Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is John Cordray. I'm a licensed counselor, and this video is part two of four things to never say or do for a loved one who is depressed. My previous video, part one, I talk about the first two things that you should never do. In this video, I want to talk about two more things that you should never do with someone who is depressed. So let's get right into it. So number three, never do this for someone that you love who is depressed. So number three is to uh, ignore them. So they're going to say, probably, maybe they've said this already, just go away. <laughs> I don't need your help. Maybe you've asked to help them. What can I do? I want to bring you dinner. I want to do something for you. And they probably have said, no, I don't need it. Just leave me alone. Just go away. <laughs> then what do you do? So you have an option, right? So one, you can go away, leave them alone. Or two, you can bug them to death, <laughs> make them even more angry. Uh, so which of those two should you do? Well, it's somewhere in the middle, actually. Uh, you don't want to leave them alone. Mm -mm. Because on the outside, they're saying get away. But really, deep down, they need you there. Uh, you, just, you just have to know how to be there. And I'll talk about that actually in my, in my fourth point. Uh, but when they say, when someone who you love is depressed and they say, I don't need your help, I don't want your help, uh, you can say, okay, I understand that, I get it, I respect your boundary, uh, I respect the fact that you want to be alone, uh, but I need to be there. So you turn it to yourself. Uh, so you say, well, I, I, I get it, I, I'm not going to make you do anything that you want to do, but it would be helpful for me. I need to go be with you for me. I need to bring you dinner for me. See how that's different? So you put it on yourself and that's true, right? You're not lying, but it, it puts the ownership on yourself instead of the person who is depressed. So you just say, all right, I really need to do this. I need it for myself. So you can say, I respect your, your decision or uh, how you don't want anyone or you don't want any help, but I need to do it for me. Will you please let me do it for me? And nine times out of 10, they're gonna say yes. So that leads me to my fourth and last point. You should never, ever, ever make them feel guilty and leave them alone. Now, I know this is related to some of my other points, but this is so important that I really wanna highlight this um, because they really are depressed. So the depression is, inward thinking they're angry at themselves they are looking at their life and they're looking and, and they're believing the negative thoughts in their life and they're saying to themselves or thinking to themselves uh, i'm a burden to everybody around me i'm a failure i shouldn't be around and maybe the ultimate uh i i shouldn't be alive and those are shocking words if if you've heard those words come out of the person that you love. Those are shocking, but you don't panic. You don't get angry. You don't leave them alone. Now it's okay if you don't know what to say. In fact, you can even say that. So silence to someone who is depressed is one of the worst things that you can do. But if you say, I don't know what to say, but I'm going to be here with you anyway. That is the best thing that you can do. So I get, I understand you're not a counselor, right? So you don't know what to say. Uh, so choose your words wisely, but you don't want to not say anything. So you got to say something. So the best thing that you can do, if you don't know what to say, I don't know what to say, right? You just verbalize it. I don't know what to say, but I love you. I care about you. And I want to just sit here and you might just go to where they're at and sit with them and you may not even say anything or you might talk about your own life you might talk about um, you know other things in your own life you're not talking about their depression you're not trying to get them to feel better you're just there in your present so these are the four things if you didn't catch my my first part one video the first two go back and watch them uh, because this is something that you need to know if you have a loved one who is depressed. 
Thank you so much. I got to go, got to run, and I appreciate you. As always, take care of yourself, and don't forget to push the subscribe button. I want you back. Take care. Bye.